Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today's time lapse and walkthrough is all about another outpost controlled by the violent and ruthless group of mercenaries headed by Anuk Barviol, leader of Barviol Keep. But we'll get into that in just a moment. For now, let's get into the intro and on with the video. Okay, so let's catch up with some world history here. Barfield Keep is a horrible place, full of bloodthirsty people who want nothing more than to bring chaos and destruction to the world of Elmorn. The main keep is located between the two main continents and serves as a symbol of fear for all those who lay sight on it. The outpost today is much larger than the smaller scout post that I uploaded a few months ago. However, it does serve a greater purpose. This outpost keeps watch over a large portion of the Thelmo Sea, and is responsible for spotting merchant and enemy ships, which it would then intercept, loot, capture the crew, interrogate, interrogate and imprison them, and if there are any survivors at that point, they would be shipped off to Barvio Keep for further questioning. Once again, the theme is a brutal one, and though this build looks simple enough, it harnesses a sinister atmosphere that you can experience especially when walking through it. You certainly would not want to be captured by these guys, as they are just horrible and despicable human beings. So simply put, Barvio Keep and its outposts are no fun, but that's the main bits of the history I wanted to share. For now, let's throw on some more music, I'll meet you back for the walkthrough, and let's just finish this up. All right, everybody, so here we are at the very front entrance of the keep. Now, I do not have a specific name for this keep, 
But, um, you know, it's just know that it's a bad one, as I said earlier. Now, what I decided to do is not go with the gate just yet, because I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to do with this, this top section into the walls. Now, I did finish the majority of the interiors. I did the interiors for these two house, uh, these two barracks, and uh, it's going to be like a little small little prison house. Um, but I did not do the interiors of the towers and the walkways. Now, that will come later on. But what we're going to do is, I like the shape of this. It kind of reminds me of... Um, I don't know, just something. It looks really cool, though. I kind of like it. But here we go, and you can see as soon as we walk in, we have this really tall... Uh, it could be a three-story, but I only made it two stories in this case. And we have a small little area over here and a building right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into this first, and I'm going to show you how that's uh, designed and everything like that. So as soon as you walk in, you can see it's kind of a small cramped area and we have a staircase going on up but you can see here we have some barrels we have some flowers some potatoes a table just basic stuff right of course we got to have the little lighting for the candle uh, but we're going to go up here and this is going to be the leader's room okay so you know every group of mercenaries needs a leader to keep them in line where they are and this is his chambers so you can see here it's very simple but you can see out, we got a really cool view. You kind of look out and, and see everything, which was the idea. Uh, got a nice little double bed. We got some cabinets and, you know, some um, clothing apparel and all that kind of stuff there. Just a nice, simple room. Okay? Nothing crazy. Nothing fancy. But what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. And this is going to be the barracks for the men. So if, as soon as you come in, it's very kind of diagonally cramped in a way but I tried to open it up we have a small little spot where they could wash their clothes um, you know some weapons some barrels I mean weapons all over the place of course because they'd have to be ready for an attack or just because they want to do some fighting amongst themselves or something like that but you can see we have plenty of beds we have chests we have drawers you know we have all this kind of stuff um, just kind of littered around the room uh, but it just looks really, really cool in my opinion. I'm, I tried to make as much with the space that I could consider it was a really weird curved shape. But I think it came out pretty nifty. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go this way actually. And you can see we have, you know, a small little overhang with some hay. Try to keep it dry from the rain. We have some supplies and whatnot here. Um, you know, we have a, a nice little table for someone to, if they just wanted to sit and just kind of relax after a long day of murdering other people. <laughs> but here we have the actual uh, small little prison room. So as soon as you walk in, um, you can see we have tons of weapons. We have, you know, a log to track all the prisoners' names and uh, what they did to them and what information they got out of them. We have chests. We have the keys uh, to the door, of course gotta have them right there we even have a bone saw if they feel like cutting some people's limbs off to try to make them talk well you know that that is a method you can take though it's ill-advised because they might die um or probably would die uh <laughs> it's, it's it's a method nonetheless here we actually have the jail room so this is more akin to a jail room that like would be in a police um headquarters it's just like one big room kind of where they um where they um, like inventory, you know, everything you have and all that stuff. But this is all they have. They have, you know, a poop bucket, uh, I don't know, a pee bucket or something like that, and just some seating. That's it. That's all they have. And that is it. So, that I mean, they're locked away. They can't get out. And they have no windows or anything to the outside world. That is all they have right here, which I thought was kind of nifty. It's a little grim, but, you know, it's uh, it's definitely there. Um, of course, here, you know, even though I did not do the interior, you can see the towers are massive and they're absolutely huge. So we're going to have a really good time decorating that in the future. But what we're going to do is we're just going to bounce right on back over again to the center point because I kind of I decorated the whole exterior. So, of course, here we have. Um, oh, look, I forgot to. Gosh, see, yeah, I keep forgetting stuff, but um, just pretend that these are on here. See, there we go. It's like it never happened. Um, but we have this just small little area uh, full of goods and, and supplies and stuff like that. Just kind of hanging out back here. Small little alleyway if you wanted to to get to the front. Um, it's it's just I tried to litter it with a bunch of stuff and, and decorations. We have weapons, of course. You know, we have vases and stuff like that all for food. We have a small, short little grindstone here um, that they could sharpen their weapons kind of, you know, quickly. Um, of course, a sword. Once again more decorations just things like that another door leading to a tower that is empty 
a little overhang here so you could actually come out and not get soaking wet if it were raining and then of course a little back alley with some more weapons some rocks some barrels vases all that good stuff and just another corner here to come back out to the center so I know it was kind of a shorter walkthrough, but um, I, you know, I'm going to do the rest of it later. These are probably going to have like windows, like, you know, probably like there or something like that. Uh, we're going to have to see, but for right now, I'll just do the little flyover. So once again, like you can see, it's, it's, it's a larger outpost and it's very heavily fortified considering it's right here on the coast. But if they were to be attacked, that's kind of where they would come. Barvio Keep is just kind of like right over there in that general direction. So this would definitely be able to be a nice fortified position. I plan on building some more stuff over this to where they could block waterways and things like that to where it'd be harder to get to them. But they can't control the entire place, uh, this, this whole waterway in the ocean. But it is there to kind of hold them back until the word gets to Barvio Keep that, hey, you know, we have attacks incoming, be ready. Um, but I do really like how in this tower going with that more brutalistic look we have like tons of iron You know, we have tons of these um, iron um, oh, What's it called railing? <laughs> and it just kind of gives a, a, a really nice overall theme of like Just intimidation. So we're gonna add some more probably some more, you know, some cages and stuff like that just to just to add a little bit more to it but I mean that is that's pretty much it, and I really like it. I think it came out really well. But yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much the video. So I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. Um, this is going to be a really fun build, and it's only probably going to be a two-part episode on this one to get all the interiors and the other sections done, but it really just depends on how much I want it to grow. It might just become a very small, like, fortress, per se, instead of an outpost. But for right now, we're just going to call it an outpost. But... Anyways, I hope y'all, I, like I said, enjoyed the time lapse, enjoyed the walkthrough. Um, of course, if you haven't already, you know, definitely hit that subscribe button if you like the content and the channel. Um, it, I really appreciate it. It does help support me, helps, you know, get these videos out there for more, more people to see, and it helps with that YouTube algorithm. So also hit that like, comment below. All of that, any interaction does help. So I really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers who are showing up on the screen now. I uh, really appreciate your support. Once again, the server for this world is live. So if you want to check it out, um, join the Discord. That link will be below. And you'll have all the information you need to tour this whole world by itself, and which is definitely a re really, really fun experience uh, from what I've heard. And just from me building it, I've thoroughly enjoyed it myself. So thank you again for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for more. We will be back again. I don't know what we'll be doing, but we will be around. So thank you so much. I hope you have a good day and happy gaming.